he just gave us steps how to do our homework. It was the name of our homework. But the thing is, I forgot the name of my homework. So that's the problem. I'm 18. I might not look like it just because I'm short. So. Uh. Ask your classmates, bro. Do you think my classmates would be awake at 3 a.m. in the morning in the Philippines? They're Filipino kids, man. Filipino kids are like, they sleep early. Because they have crazy Asian moms. Well, good thing my mom is not crazy. Tomorrow, bro. The thing is, my homework is past tomorrow. <laughs> ah. Just tell you have prob prob family prob The thing, what I'm trying to say is I lost my homework. That's what I'm trying to say, man. May I help you? No, thank you. Why are it middle-aged men? Why is Francis awake at 3 a.m. in the morning? Anyways. I have no beauty sleep and now I probably can't go back to sleep so when I go to school tomorrow I'm probably gonna look like shit I can, or I can just like I don't know like Filipino schools don't allow you to wear makeup right but the thing is I have been wearing makeup I cover my eye bag with foundation and concealer Stand up. Let me see. You. Go away, keep Rodrigo. Rodrigo is six five one. I'm eighteen years old, and you're probably like sixty or something. Uh, you can go fuck off now. Thank you. Hi. Mm, middle aged men on my life. If you're just gonna say dirty shit to an eighteen year old. Get the fuck out of here before I report you. I forgot that my uncle is the governor of the city. Man, I can just ask my uncle to tell me to, 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 to pick me up tomorrow. And I can go to his house and he can just call my teacher and be like, Oh, sorry, Santi can't be there because I'm with her. Oh, I'm so smart, man. This is the, pre this is the preps if you have, if you have, a, uh, if you have an uncle that is a governor. Is it 3 p.m.? It's 3 a.m. <laughs> Good, yeah, it's a good idea. This, uh, uh, my uncle's. I forgot that my great great grandpa is like great 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 grandpa is like the old president of the Philippines. I'm just going to tell you who. So specifically, I'm not angry. I am worried. <laughs> so my last name is Weird. And if I say my last name, I know there's uh, Filipinos here. So I'm just going to tell you who I am. So I revealed my FB right in my TikTok account. And my last name is Palestico. And when I was like 10 years old, I found out that my great-great-great-grandpa was like the old 
especially like on the Philippines. Yeah, and I just you look like Philip Philip Philip. You spelled that wrong. You spelled that wrong. My name got from actually my real name is starts with an X. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you what my name is because I'm bored. That's what my real name is. It starts with an X. And basically I got my uncle named me, my parents did not. My parents, my parents did not name it, name me at all. My uncle, I mean my grandpa named me. He named me from a book. Because of how a bookworm my grandpa is, he got my name from a book. Actually, my real, real name has two P's. So... With E, so it's kind of like San, 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 I don't want to, and I have, an, uh, there's an American actress that has the same first name as me, and her name is this girl, um, actually no, it's not her real name, she just became the role of it. You know, but yeah, my real name starts with an X. Cause yeah, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys who my great great grandpa was. I spell his name now. There is my grandpa, man. My my great great grandpa. In Bohol, we have like in our house in our old Filipino house is practically made out of I don't know, but it's old. It's from like when when Carlos P Garcia was like alive. And we have a picture of him basically in our living room. Big ass picture of him in our living room. And when I was a kid, when I was like 10, I remember asking my mom who the fuck that is, who the fuck he is. And my, my grandma just, my mom just said, oh, that's your great, great, great grandpa, Carlos P. Garcia. He used to be the old president of the Philippines. And I was like, what the fuck? Because so when my mom told me that, I got shocked because and then that's why all hell break loose. Um, and for the twenty twenty two twenty twenty two elections. My uncle basically ran for governor here in our city that I live in. He used to be a great general. Yeah, I've heard lots of uh, stories about him. I did not study him yet, but I, I want to research about him. Because he's my great great grandpa, and he used to be the Philippines of the, uh, the, the, the Philippines. I mean, he used to be the president of the Philippines. That's his old house. Slay. Bro, he looks like my grandpa. No, he looks like my grandpa. My grandpa's dead, but he looks like my grandpa. And he looks like my other grandpas. So basically, did my grandparents 
they have lots of grandparents okay you don't know how many because uh our family is big it has other connections you know for example the garcias the imbos the bahans and many more so basically my family is huge and i just don't give a shit about it i don't give interest in it because i don't care but i want to research about my family more because first of all Because first of all, because first of all, my grandma, one of my grandma was in World War II. What the fuck? Yeah. What is this man? My family is uh, weird as fuck. Like, <laughs> so there's this thing that kind of, uh, oh, uh, he, what the fuck, is this even English? Oh, shit. So, yeah, oh, uh, my grandpa, president of the Philippines, and the fourth president of the third republic of the Philippines. So he's like the fourth president. Yeah, he is from Taliban, Bohol. And that's where my family is from. Well, except for me, because I wasn't born there. Which is sad. But it's okay. It's fine, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, Garcia was born in Taliban, Bohol. To yes, you grew up with politics. <laughs> My family is crazy about politics. I wonder where they got that from. Uh, so basically, <clears throat> my Filipino family is different. You know, some Filipino families are always crazy about their children want to, want you to be a doctor or a nurse or an actress. Me, they want me to be the... Me, they keep, like, telling me that I should join politics in the future. Like, I should run as mayor and shit like that, or run as a vice president or president. And they want me to study law. Law, I tell you, law. Because I want to be a chef. I don't want to be that stupid politics shit because I don't give a fuck about it. I want to be a chef because I like cooking and I'm a better cook than my family. Except for my grandparents, those old people who are better than me at cooking probably. But yeah. Carlos P. Garcia went to Suleiman, man. He went to Suleiman. So first, his private, private, primary education is in Native Taliban. Secondary education is in Cebu. Man is going everywhere. And his college education is in Suleiman. Suleiman is here. In Dumaguete. And that's been... My first brother went there, my second brother went there, my third brother went there, my fourth, my fifth. And I'm probably also going to go there for college, but I didn't know that. And law degree, see, he studied law. That's why my, that's why my family is so crazy about politics and law and stuff. He went to Philippine law school. I'm probably going to go to Philippine. No, because I want to leave. Probably when I turn 20, I'm going to move out. But I don't want to be nowhere around these people who are crazy about politics all the time. How many wives does he have? 
Leonila Dimagata. She's okay. Her wife is his wife is pretty. First Lady of the Philippines. Leonila Dimagata a First Lady of the Philippines. Photo of Leon Leonila and Carlos Garcia. Carlos P. Garcia kissing his wife on the cheek. Why would people take that? You know, in the costume, she, my classmate says I'm making a school harem because basically almost all of the boys in school are having a crush on me, especially in our school building, in our great, like, in our great building. Uh, almost all the boys are having crushes on me and they randomly add me on Facebook and and I just wonder where the fuck did they get my Facebook from because <clears throat> I don't go around and just pass my Facebook around I just don't go around and pass my stupid Facebook around no I don't do that cause that's stupid and I just wonder how Filipino Filipino was a different the forgotten are in Pele Yeah, that shit. I, I'm tired. <laughs> political, political career. Representative of the 3rd District of Bohol. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna do that soon enough. I DK, why? How my brothers? Escape that stupid politics dream that my parents want. They are not all doctors. Like basically, all my brothers are doctors. Like no, five of all of my brothers. <clears throat> all of my brothers are doctors. My mom said either I should pick being a doctor, a nurse, being a politics, or a law student, or I could either move out. You know why I pick? I will move out. But the thing is, are you 18 yet? But the thing is, I do I do not know how to handle stuff with expenses yet. Because basically, I have been staying with my parents since I was like, I was seven. Because I lived with my real dad in England for five years. So he was a Congress, he was a senator, he's a he was a vice president, and he moved out to president. Carlos P. Garcia wasn't actually a famous, famous president. He was just keeping a low profile. I don't know who President Max Sai is. I only know. I no wonder why I failed my Ireland Palipunan test because they ask us about to list all. The president of the Philippines and the old president of the Philippines because in important information about them. Just list five only and put information important information about them if you can remember. Well, basically we we have to do it anyways. So what I put is only was Gar Carlos Garcia, Bombo bon bon Marcus the first, and Bombo bon bon Marcus the second. <laughs> Because I don't know any other Filipino presidents. Because I've spent... How am I grade 9 or grade 8? I'm 18 years old. So anyways, I've spent like my whole middle school and high school years being in a British school or in a one international school. So I only know British shit. 
British lessons. I only know. Can you tie your hair? No. Anyways. So basically, I only know random uh, capitals of the country. Uh, basically, you know, and stuff like that. Anyways, um, and basic geography, basic economics, basic business class. Yeah, we have business class. We have we had business class and middle school. We had business class in middle school. You know, in middle school, I failed my history test because it is so basically exams in Filipino schools. It is like it has like you know those A B C D stuff shit, and they give you like you know the answers but you just have to pick which the right one is from my old school our exam is different okay we have to write the answers in an essay 500 word essay 1000 word essay 2000 word essay so when i went to transfer to the Filipino school i was shocked because why the exams were so easy like I was shocked you just have to pick from letters or from words or like stuff like that. I was shocked how Filipino exams were so easy. In British exams you have to answer it in an essay. You have to make a whole ass goddamn essay. It's unfair. It's weird, man. Anyways, let's continue reading about Carlos Pugliese's Garcia because of death. After his failed re-election bid, Garcia retired to Doug Bilaran to resume up as a private Russian citizen. On June 1, 1971, Garcia was elected Days after his election on June 14, 1971, Garcia died from a fatal heart attack. He was as the president of, by his former vice president. Garcia became the first layman to lie in the state of Manila Cathedral and the first president to be buried at the Libinga ng mga bayani. <laughs> He's my idol, guys. We love. <clears throat> That's where he's buried. I want to visit his grave. Achievement awards. He. Eight months of Magasasa remaining time and one period of it is really. Wow. Can I speak? Can I speak as yet? Smart. Yeah, Francis is right. Anyways, what do you guys want to do at 4 a.m.? I'll probably get sleep. Look how heavy my envelope is filled with modules and shit. We're going to put this back inside because we, we did nothing with it. I basically got distracted again. Who gives a fuck? I don't care about school anymore. I just want to sleep. So, what the fuck are we gonna do? But that's not as not heavy as you. I am not heavy. Shut up. Good night, Pearl. Why'd you call me Pearl? I'm not a Pearl, I'm a human.
Ah. Also, so like the canteen is like in my school is near the seventh grade building. It's near the it's near the